BMW are absolutely furious about Europe's decision to ban internal combustion engine cars in 2035. They are saying, along with other automakers, including the Volkswagen Group and Mercedes-Benz and Audi, that around 25% of the automotive industry in Europe will be decimated because of the ban on internal combustion cars in 2035. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans, and I agree with the 2035 ban on internal combustion cars. YouTube's new algorithm means that you're often not getting all of our videos in your feed. There's 7,500. I'm pretty sure you're probably not seeing a lot of them. In the description, there is a link to our newsletter. Click on that and you can get an update every day of all the latest news in the electric car industry. I don't believe that Mercedes-Benz, BMW, Volkswagen or Audi, I don't believe that they are considering or care about the enormous health effects of internal combustion cars, not just on the environment, but even more so on human health. It is causing enormous numbers. We're talking thousands and thousands of premature deaths in Europe, far more than the road toll, far more than what people are being killed actually from driving cars. BMW, of course, is not looking at it from this perspective. They're looking at it in terms of money, capitalism. How do they make more money if the cars that make profit for them, internal combustion cars, are not able to be sold. BMW board member, Dr. Joachim Post, has criticized the plan by European regulators to ban new combustion cars from 2035, saying the move will kill an industry if it ignores customer needs and charging infrastructure. Now, of course, he doesn't mention the fact that the world isn't standing still. He's basically saying that in 10 years from now, in 2035, charging infrastructure won't have changed and customer choices won't have changed either. Everyone's gonna want exactly the same things they want today in 10 years from now. And of course, that ignores the fact that EV technology is improving every single year, the prices of EVs are coming down every year, and the charging infrastructure is getting better every year, which of course will encourage more people to actually want to buy an EV in the first place. Speaking at the launch of BMW's new class, which ironically is an EV platform, he said the company will not split its design language between electric vehicles and internal combustion cars. Interim customers of both powertrain types will get the same technology and quality experience. I'm not sure how they can get the same technology experience, but anyway. Mr. Post, who was responsible for BMW's product strategy when the new class was approved in 2021, said the goal was to future-proof all BMWs with next-generation electric cars and, and hydrogen-powered cars. I know, it's funny and technologies including their panoramic iDrive user interface and new driver assistance functions regardless of their powertrain. There should be no compromise for a customer who wants to have a combustion engine or electric powertrain to get his car with all the technologies, he said. Now, of course, the analogy that a, an internal combustion car is actually just a giant cigarette and far worse than a giant cigarette, the pollution, uh, trust me, the pollution from cigarettes is nothing in comparison to the pollution from internal combustion diesel, particularly diesel cars, but also gasoline-powered cars. He obviously doesn't mention any of that. That's um, a, a factor we should probably be considering. Mr. Post promised buyers won't see radical design differences between EV and ICE models from BMW. EV and ICE buyers can say that one is not looking better than the other one. It was important for us not to have unequal twins, he said. Now, getting on, moving on from this, um, BMW and numerous other manufacturers in Europe, so I can't just call out BMW, have, including Mercedes, have said, lambasted the decision to ban internal combustion cars from being sold, new ones, in 2035, which is, like I said, nearly 10 years away. It's, um, okay, nine and a half years away. It's still a long way away. They are really, really scared that they're going to lose their companies, that their, their sales and profits will nosedive, uh, the Chinese will take over because China can make affordable electric cars that are better. And so therefore, they, they, they're they really thinking of this in scarcity mode. What are we set to lose here? Mr. Post was blunt in his criticism of the European Commission's plan to mandate only zero emission vehicle sales by 2035. If the European Commission is going to say they have a plan to cut the combustion engine in 2035, they're not asking the customers and how EV charging infrastructure is coming up, how the energy prices are, and all the things there. 
interesting statement. It's stupid to do that in that way. And you can kill an industry doing it that way, he said. I think if um, he has a point to make, maybe be a bit more clear and concise because that paragraph wasn't very clear or very concise. His comments, though, come just a few weeks after Mercedes-Benz claimed the European automotive industry will collapse if the internal combustion ban was legislated as planned in 2035. BMW, he said, has been attacked in the past for pursuing a technology-open approach, developing EVs while still investing in efficient combustion cars. But really, BMW is probably more mocked for investing in hydrogen-powered cars because no one else is really doing it. But BMW is still doing it. They've got a new hydrogen-powered X5 that's meant to be coming out next year. They say this every year, though. It's been it's it's meant to be it's seriously. I mean, it was meant to be out in 2022, and then they said 23, and they keep on changing the changing the the dates. It's kind of ridiculous. BMW though has been attacked. They claim in the past because they are the only company in Europe that is supporting internal combustion and hydrogen. We've been bashed for years with this approach. At that time, the others always came to, hey, why are you not making pure electric? All the analysts and a lot of, to be honest, journalists, also sometimes now, a lot of them came back to say, sorry, you had done it the right in the right way. Um, Sorry, because I think it's because he's not a, a natural English speaker. I find it hard to read some of his comments because they don't quite make English sense. But he, I think you can see the point here. He's kind of claimed that all these journalists who said um, BMW is wrong because BMW criticized other manufacturers for being more invested into EVs, that now they're coming and saying, kissing his butt and saying, you, no, you're right, we were wrong. And your multi-prong approach of internal combustion uh, BMW say that hydrogen will be the primary source of motor vehicles in the world in 2040. That will be the number one source, and EVs will only be a, a bit player. That's what BMW have said numerous times. In fact, their entire board made that statement, I believe it was 18 months ago, two, two years ago. He's saying that now journalists are coming to him and saying, you were right about hydrogen being the future of the automotive industry. It's what BMW claims. I think he's lying. I'd say that not a single journalist in the world would have said that because it's ridiculous. Vindicating BMW's approach to EVs, says car expert, Mr. Post said many competitors are now backtracking on their EV-only product strategies and embracing technology openness. And I would agree to that. You know why they're doing that, though? Because they don't make any money selling EVs and their profits are falling very fast. And their competition is better than they are at the same price level. Finally, the customer decides, he said. The world is different in different places and we are a global player we're not a player in one region, and now some other companies change the strategy to technology openness because you won't survive if you have to halve volume in five years, he said. So why do they have to halve volume in five years? Well, first of all, um, his maths don't quite add up because he says they need a halve volume in five years. 2030 is actually nine and a half years away. So maybe someone should explain to him that um, actually uh, the date is 2025. It's not 2030 today. Anyhow, he's basically saying that all these manufacturers, they will have to halve their sales in Europe as if the European Union continues with this um, decision to ban electric cars, uh, to ban internal combustion sales in 2035. They'll have to halve their sales. So they'll lose half their market share by 2035. Is that going to happen? Is that kind of a defeatist way of looking at it to say, well, if we can't sell internal combustion cars, we're dead in the water. We're dead ducks. That's basically what he is alluding to. Now I should point out guys, this video sounds like I'm being critical of BMW. I'm just being crit critical of the people at BMW, particularly the board members that I believe say incredibly defeatist things and things that are clearly false. If they actually plan to fail, they're going to fail. They're planning to say, well, if the European Union is banning uh, the sales of internal combustion in 2035, then we're dead. Then you're probably dead. But if you plan a way around it to actually be able to succeed, you can probably succeed. And also the concept of hydrogen being the future of the automotive industry. BMW have never retracted that statement. And that's ludicrous. There's no way any journalists are coming to them and saying, oh, your plan was great, guys. Wow, you knew so much about hydrogen. You were geniuses. You predicted this and you got it right. There's no chance of anyone saying that. Now, of course, maybe some journalists have said to them, hey, um, we think your strategy was good, not referring to hydrogen. So, you know, you've done great. Well done. We were wrong. 
because they're kissing his butt because they want to be able to get perks from BMW, free flights and free cars that they can infinitely test drive forever and things like that. That's it. There's a possibility of that. But I think that um, ultimately BMW's new iX3 could prove him wrong. That's the thing. BMW's new EV, the iX3, that'll be their mainstream car that competes with the X3. I think that's going to be their best-selling car ever. It's a phenomenal electric car. They've done it, BMW have done a great job with that car. So I think if they embrace that and you know really, really drive sales of that car, maybe BMW will realize that actually the market is changing. Europe is changing. The world is changing. And if you embrace change, you can succeed. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.